Welcome back to the latest edition of the Laura and Becky Show, sponsored by Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa and Dunstan Hall Garden Centre and Bistro. Uh, thank you for coming back and listening. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Jesus. It's going to be one of those days. I've just been doing a voiceover and I couldn't say confirmation message. You try and say that. Confirmation message. <laughs> yeah, actually, you can do it. No, but you know what? It is, there are certain so things annoying. that are really hard to say. What's something I always find hard to say? I was just like, say? you'll receive your confirmation <laughs> I was like, confirmation message. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I find it hard to say phenom- phenomenon. Phenomenon? Phenomenon. Phenom- phenomenal. I always find that really hard to say. Anyway, welcome back. We can talk, which is a good thing because we're doing a podcast. Well, hun, these are our money hun. makers, you know, so... <laughs> we say when, we say... What is it? We say who, we say when, we say how much. That is Laura and I's oh motto, right? God. Now, if you've seen Pretty Woman, I mean, who hasn't seen I mean, seen we're not Pretty a couple Woman? of prostitutes, are we? <laughs> we've well, literally stolen... Well. We've literally stolen a... Uh, a business message from a couple of prostitutes. Do you I'm know here, what? I'm We're, here all right. for it. We're all right with that. Obviously, if you've seen the movie, I think it's Kit and Vivian, isn't yeah. it, talking to each other? Are we Kit and Vivian? Who'd We're... be Kit and who'd be Viv? I mean, I'm taller, so I should really be... You, you, you'd you'd be, be Vivian. Kit. I'd be Kit. His bathroom trouble. was bigger than the blue banana. <laughs> I love that movie. Oh my god! Can we have a night in Shall soon? We? Where we just have like some fire wine, on. some snacks, a fire on, <laughs> yes. and we watch Pretty Woman. It's such a great. But but it's so true. Obviously, like we obviously used to work for <laughs> as um, prostitutes. We used to work <laughs> the streets. Sounded like you're like it is true. Yeah, we were on the streets. We were. Once. We wore knee high. You'd boots do really and... well. <laughs> I do. Really you would well. do really well. I'll, I'll be there like, oh, no, no, oh, 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 oh there's a man coming. You'll be like, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, no, maybe you would be Vivian. <laughs> and I'll be there going, work it. Go work on, it, Becky. go on, honey, work it, work it. <laughs> You're really good at negotiating. Mate, you'd make a great person. I actually, you know what? The more I think about it, the more yeah, I think about it. You want to get out in the streets? Isn't there a brothel in Sheffield? Well, oh, hang on a minute. I mean, time's moved on. I just do OnlyFans, Matt. I'm not going to work the streets. It's not the 1920s, for God's sake. Anyway, this is the longest intro ever. Welcome. Yeah. I mean, if you're still with us, welcome. You deserve a medal, yeah. But I am, I'm going to go back to it again, just quickly. <laughs> but I am going to be a prostitute. No, well, yeah, I'll consider it, maybe. No, I won't. I'm not a prostitute. Mum, if you're listening, I'm not a prostitute. That's not how I earn my money up here, okay? Um, no, but we do. We always say, because you know, we now work for ourselves, mm. we say who, who, we say when, when, and we say how much. We do. We bloody do. Yeah. Try it. Try that motto. Whatever walk of life you're in. It's worth Even if us. you're a prostitute, go for it. Yeah. Nick it. <laughs> um, I want to talk about Christmas cake. Okay, hang on. From prostitutes to, to Christmas, Christmas cake. cake. I mean, we can literally go from one subject to the other here, can't we? It doesn't It doesn't matter. Well, I'm very excited because you've turned up today. I mean, if as if I couldn't love you any more, you've only turned up with a massive slice of Christmas cake. How good does that look, though? Mate, can I try a little bit? Yeah. So what happened was, right, um, I dropped Lily off at school this morning. I often like to get a little coffee before, because we often do the podcast earlier, don't we? As it happened, the day's gone a bit skew if we're now doing it later, but... <laughs> okay, I want a bit of the marzipan. Sorry, it's going in your nails. Look, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Okay. Oh my! Right. She said it had been aged and fed for a long time. It's a famous recipe, apparently. God, Jesus Christ! Is it good? <laughs> she can't speak, so it must be good. It looks really moist, doesn't it? It's a moist Christmas I, cake. I love Christmas cake. Is it quite boozy? No, no. It's lovely. It's mm. not boozy. Oh, she did say there was well, quite I a bit of booze got, in there. I went top end, didn't I? I bet in the bottom there's more. Loads of booze. Mate, that's delicious. Mm. Well, so I went in, got a coffee, my favourite little um, coffee place, Hackney House, if you're from Derbyshire. It's so nice. Love so going nice. in there. You go in and they always have like fresh pies, don't they? Fresh quiche. quiche. I love the quiche. <laughs> Especially the ham and the quiche. <laughs> <laughs> I go into Hackney House and I'm like, hey, yeah. <laughs> Kevin, your quiche, please. <laughs> Why can't we speak today? Quiche, 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 quiche. I've had the coffee, quiche, and yeah. cake. <laughs> all the seeds, all the keys. Should we tag them in this today? Oh my God, we, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll tag that. That's why I mentioned them, I'm not going to lie. But I, I do love going there for a coffee. So go <laughs> and get a coffee and this Christmas cake. <laughs> <laughs> cake. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally sat there. 
And I just thought, oh, hello, baby. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I got a slice for us to share and I had you in mind. I thought me and Laura will enjoy this this morning. Yeah. And you've had a bit of a morning, which we're going to go on to in a minute. Mm-hmm. I thought she needs some Christmas cake oh, in her I life. Do. But also I got this. She's gone. I got a slab. So they were doing like lovely little gifts. Um, of- Ooh, but is this a gift? <laughs> That's like a brick. No. Is that a gift though? Is that going to be... Um, mate, you brought that for yourself. Yeah. That is, that is In my head, I thought, this will make a lovely little Christmas gift. It's like a really nice Christmas cake. A Christmas cake. gift for me. Happy Christmas to me. Yeah. Happy Christmas to me. My mum makes a banging Christmas cake. Ah, oh, now I think I've sampled I Linda's think, yeah. Christmas cake oh, before. It's good. It's good. Um, what's, <laughs> speaking of your mum, Linda, just quickly, <laughs> we hadn't planned this, but what is it your mum's having for her birthday again? Oh, a um, charcuterie. That's a Sham- word I can't say. Charcuterie, um, open house, open house at Linda's. In fact, anyone want to go to my mum's uh, 70th? She's having an open house charcuterie. Yeah, do you know what? In fact, never You've mind. you got it in to your diary. Oh, I, I, I actually, <laughs> look look <laughs> at the date. Have. What date is it? In fact, you tell me. It's so, uh, 3rd of December? No. Oh, no, no. No, it's the next day, 4th. It, th- there we go, look. Linda's open, open house, house is in my diary. Yeah, so what there. we're doing, we're doing our ladies' night the night before. By the way, if yeah, you haven't... No, no, forget that. No, no one wants to go to that. Come no. to Linda's. No, no we want to go to both. <laughs> ladies' night on the 3rd of December. Have a look on Instagram to find the tickets. Come along, it's going to be great. Um, and then it the next day we'll be a little bit tired. Off we go to Linda's open house. Well, she, she'll have booze there, won't she? Champagne, mate. Oh. Champagne charcuterie. Say it again. Champagne charcuterie. <laughs> Are you going to be there? Yes. Okay, Dunstan Hall Garden Centre. I mean, who doesn't love a garden centre at Christmas? We've said this all week, but it's true. Now, they've got a Santa's Grotto. Oh, my God, and we're going to get a sneak peek, and I literally think I'm just going to faint with Christmas happiness. I'm so excited. So the night before it opens, we're going to go and actually film a little reel for them, aren't we? Oh, my God. Um, Hopefully take my little Lily along as well, which she's going to pee her pants about. Um, But it looks amazing. So we saw a little sneak preview, didn't we, Um, earlier on this week when we went into Dunstan. It is magical yes yeah, so you kind of like walk through the grounds of the house and look through pathways and the trees are lit up and then eventually you get to santa's grotto so it's starting on thursday the 8th of december you don't have to book you turn up so this is good actually because usually stuff like this gets booked up so you just turn up yeah um, it's from the 8th of December three till Christmas Eve, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at £15 per child, but it's worth it. It is. If there is a Santa's Grotto that you're looking to take your kids to, or maybe you want to go by yourself, I yeah. don't know, that's the kind of thing you do, this is the one you need to go to. This is the one that I'm going to be booking on to. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll repost this on our Insta. It's at Big mm. UK, at Laura Summers Lifestyle, or have a look at Dunstan Hall Garden Centre online. <laughs> What's going on in the world then, mate? What is going on in the world? Well, this is something we haven't actually announced yet. You're looking you're looking at me blankly. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so this is something that's been sort of like in the pipeline. We had it confirmed probably a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We haven't announced it yet, have we? We've we've kept it secret. No, we we did it last year and um we were kind of like I don't know why, I just presumed we wouldn't do it this year. I don't know yeah, why, same. I just think mm, we wouldn't do it. But anyway. Because we're not on the radio. That's yes. why. Yes. That is it, actually. Yes, that's absolutely it. Um so this year, in fact, in just over just over a week's time, we're turning on the Christmas lights in Chesterfield. Yay! We are so excited. We're so chuffed to be asked to do it. Because obviously we're not on the radio anymore. Normally it's radio presenters that go and switch on Christmas lights, isn't it? With like Father Christmas and the Panto stars and that kind of thing. So we're actually like, oh my God, we've been asked asked to to do do it. Yeah. And we, we just do this funny little podcast yeah but last year um, I'd never I I told you this and I? I kind of admitted it to you after I did it. I'd always wanted to do that and I always missed the gig because I was at different radio stations and anyway and locked down and blah I never got to do it so I was so excited to do it last year and I absolutely I loved it it was good wasn't because it? I remember as a child going to the Christmas light switch on yeah. so I'm like I love the fact that we're and I love I love the fact we do it together it's it's nice it's two women I doing know. it as well but obviously it's us two and we love working together but the fact it's two women as well we just we just feel proper chuffed yeah we got we? Like, like coordinated outfits and everything this year we're, we're going to plan it aren't we we're going to go mm. a little bit just want to go a little bit bougie a little bit bougie well you said to me yesterday you were like mate what are you going to wear I was like oh I don't know so I had a little look online I was like I couldn't really find anything but you said to me you were like I want to go a bit 
edgy. Yeah, I just want to be a bit like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. Um, Now, we've got the Panto stars from Chesterfield Panto coming. By the way, Chesterfield Panto, always a good one. Like, you know, you go to these big cities like Chef and Derby and Knott's. Try out Chesterfield Panto because it's usually, the the theatre's beautiful and it's usually really good, isn't it? I mean, you were in it as a horse. I wasn't a horse. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. You were a horse. You had a horse head on. I was high. Hang yes. on, what? Yes. I was a villager. Was I, yeah, but I then you twice. turned into a horse. You had a horse head on. What? Are you sure this was me? Yeah. Mate, I don't <laughs> You were a horse. What panto was this? I don't know. You, have to, you were the horse for the carriage. Oh, maybe I've made oh, that. Oh, how? No, I think you were. Hang you on. were. You had the horse head on. You walked. No, <laughs> that wasn't me. Was it not? I was in a scene where they there was a carriage, but I didn't have a horse. Oh, did you not? No. Why were, were you just there then? I don't know. Panto's weird. They just stick you in scenes and just yeah, like, yeah, like, go on, you're go this, on. Now you're that. Now you're a bit of undergrowth. Um... Uh, well, when you were in it, Ridium was in it, wasn't he? Yeah, I was just going to say this because um, this is where I met now one of my very good friends, Ri- Ridium. Ridium, yeah. From- You'll probably remember him from the X Factor, the <laughs> opera singing, white haired guy. He was great. Guy. He was great. Well, he- you know, like years gone by, you always remember certain people. Ridian's one of them. He's like a standout character, isn't he? Alexandra Burke, I always seem to remember. I always think of Rachel and a Daisy. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. because of the totally, guy saying yeah. it. Oh, Ridian was definitely the star of the that X Factor. That who won it that year? He did it. Um, I asked him this the other day because I've forgotten Leon Jackson, and he came second. Yeah. But he went to me. I got a robbed, babe. Oh, he did. I got robbed. Yeah, he did. Um, this year it's Michelle Collins. Only bloody Cindy from EastEnders. So we've got a bit of a, a plan. I'm go- well. I mean, I'm just gonna. I'm not going to stalk her. I want to. I want to meet her. I want her to become started. our friend. I think. I think she would. Laura said to, to me yesterday. We were sat in here in the studio after doing the podcast. She went, "Hey, it's Cindy from EastEnders who's in the Panto this year. So obviously, when we do the Christmas light switch on, she will be there. We normally mm-hmm. like interview them and stuff, don't we, on the stage? But we only really meet them on stage mm-hmm, for the first it. time. But Laura said to me, "Why don't we?" Befriend message her. her on Instagram, befriend her and ask her if she wants to go for a drink. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm literally going to. I'm like, hi, we're going to be interested. Also, so she's going to be up here a lot. It gets a bit lonely, I think, when you do panto. Well, this is how I became friends with Ridian. Yes. So me and Ricky, who we both used to work with at the radio station, were in the panto. And we used to go for lunch and stuff yeah. with Ridian because he was stuck up here, didn't know anyone. Yeah, mate, so that's going to be us with, with Cindy. With Cindy. Yes. Um, well, you've already followed her on Instagram. I'm you did this yesterday. Her. I mean, she's, she's got so many followers, she won't recognise What she. are you going to say to her? Hiya, I'm... <laughs> Hiya! I'm Laura from Laura and Becky. <laughs> um, you probably we're know gonna be, the... We're going to be in... We're doing the Christmas lights vision. we're going to meet... Can't wait to meet you. Be lovely to meet you before... Let's yeah, go, do you want let's us go to show you a nice pub in... Yeah. She'll be like, what a pair of stalkers. No, but I'm going to try for sure. Mate. I'm going to be a restaurant with Michelle Connors. In fact, it'll be Laura and Michelle soon. You'll be, you'll I'll, be I'll be no more. Um, I think we should keep everyone updated with whether she yes. like ghosts us or whether she replies to us. Or well, we'll we tag do her in this. A... We are nice, yeah. Michelle, if you're listening. Oh, Michelle, I think. Oh, we've think got we Christmas cake, Michelle, too. We've got a slab with your name on it. What's not to love? Um, also, very quickly, who was it last year? <laughs> who was it at the Christmas lights in the panto? We weren't oh, allowed we... to. Oh, Suzanne Shaw. That's it. We weren't allowed so... to say she was from hearsay. I'm not being funny, right? Like, I know she's not obviously not in hearsay anymore. She's it. Was she in Emmerdale? I don't know. But no one really cares about that. Everyone's interested in hearsay. Like, hearsay were a great band. Well, that's the reason she got the gig in it, because she yeah. was from hearsay. We weren't allowed to mention the, it, were um, we? No, Wherever you this. go, I want to be there. Wherever you... Great song. Bloody what? brilliant then song. Why wouldn't she want us mentioning that? Do you think Michelle Collins would like, don't mention any senders? No. No, because I think she's all right, isn't she? She's going to be our best friend soon. Can't wait. She is. So Ringwood Hall, hotel and spa. Um, just been looking at their Instagram. Now, we talked about this before, but they've got quite a few nice Christmassy and New Year events. I like a Christmas and New Year event. I, I literally love it. As long One, as it finishes by nine. Oh, mate. Absolutely. If I, if I can you be can back stay in up by till ten. Midnight? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, they've got one coming up, and you can see this on their Instagram at Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa. Tux and Tiara Black 
Thai dinner. 26 of this month. Amazing. Um, you come along, you enjoy a Cur Royale cocktail and canapes Ooh. on arrival, followed mm. by a delicious four-course menu. Mm. Oh, our gentle background music and close-hand magician will keep you entertained. Ooh. And then you get a DJ. I mean, it sounds lovely. Sounds great. If you want to have a look at their events, have a look at their website. It's ringwoodhallhotel.com. <laughs> so, mate... This isn't a funny mate today, actually. <laughs> You've had a right old time of it, haven't you? Yeah, so I'm not going to go too much into it because it's like an ongoing thing. Um, but yesterday we were filming some Christmassy stuff um, for a client of ours. And I had to leave early because I got a phone call from my daughter. Um, now, my daughter, Rosie's always kind of struggled with school. It's ongoing for years. <laughs> She's 13, isn't she? One thing I did think, though, is that... <laughs> I remember once when me and you were at a pub and we were drinking and I got a phone call from school. Remember the stabbing incident? Yeah, She didn't get stabbed, but yeah. I do. That could have very easily have repeated itself yesterday because you were two winds down. Imagine if I'd have gone, yeah, go on then. Mate, how bad would that have been? Oh God, actually yesterday could have been a lot more messy than it was. Laura was completely sober. Yeah. I, I was pissed yeah. yesterday. You were like this... knee deep in red wine when I left you. I was a little bit hungover, so I had to have some wine. Anyway, we're we'll going off on a tangent. So I was pissed. Laura was sober. Laura yeah. gets this phone call. I got a phone call, which meant I had to leave, didn't I? Because I was in a bit of a state. But yeah, it's like yeah, my child is literally being bullied at school. It's such a horrible situation. And I do think, and we've talked about this a lot, haven't we? Mm. Um, girls are kind of like 12, 13, it They're seems to mate. be a really horrible, well, yeah. awkward age yeah. where Jesus. they're just not very nice. Yeah. She, um, <clears throat> she kind of copes with school. She copes with it very well, well. Very well. Yeah. Um, but it kind of, something happened just And I am going to, I think we, <clears throat> you know, sometimes we say about doing like a serious podcast, like we did one on death, didn't we? And um, I am going to do one on bullying, but, um, yeah, it's kind of that realization that, yeah, I had a conversation with school yesterday and I was like, I'm I'm telling you now, my child is being bullied in your school. Do you know what I mean? The like, thing is, though, this has been ongoing mm, for quite a while, but it's, it kind oh. of goes in waves, doesn't it? It's on and off, then it's okay for a while, then it rears its yes. ugly head. Yes. So you've had lots of conversations yes. with the school, haven't you? Yes, yeah. And I think last night, both me and James, her stepdad, we, we, it really upset us. I'm trying mm. really hard not to cry. It really oh, upset mate. us. And then this morning... Um, we just went to school at 8am. We were there at 8am. Well, I got a message from Laura today being like, we are going to school at eight o'clock and, and you power dressed. For it, you? I mean, usually you'll find me in leggings and an exercise top. I thought, no. So I've got like a blazer on, a pony. I thought, mate, take my fake Louis. She, she's got leather trousers <laughs> yeah. on, guys. You know, she means business when the leathers come on. Yeah. And I'm quite a confident person, but I don't like confrontation. I just don't like it. So luckily, like, James stepped up and he just walked in and he was like, and they just looked at us. This reception was like, this receptionist was like, oh dear. And he just went, I want to see the headmaster and we're not leaving until we do. So they were like, yeah, good. Okay. Good for him. Yeah. So I don't want to kind of go about what we spoke about this morning. I will, but it's kind of ongoing. She's off school today. That's how bad it is. She's, she's like at home. She's, she's fine as in like, she's not crying at home. She's fine the thing is though you you do wonder what's going on on the surface like you say she deals with it so well mm. she always goes to school actually mm. this is quite unusual for her to be off school isn't it yeah but you do wonder what's going on underneath the surface and how it's going to affect yeah. her don't you yeah absolutely so yeah we've kind of my day is all over the shot i've bloody gone and get the dog now from the clippers because that was late but yeah i just like it's really weird when you kind of realize that you know you see it online and like all these charities that deal with mm. bullying and what do you do it is a bit like shit what do we do because this is it's so serious yeah. but to be fair we did see the deputy head we were in there she didn't rush us out it wasn't like, like we could have probably stayed there for another hour and talked but I think we, we said what we needed to say what she said back I was like okay good so I just have to wait till this afternoon and they're going to contact me but yeah Bit of a really I, shit situation. I'd hate to be a kid these days. Because you know when we were at school, obviously there was bullying. Yeah. But like you went home and you could switch off. Yeah. There were no mobile phones. Yeah. There was no social media. Mm -hmm. These days, there's no letter. There's no it, is there? there is no. Luckily though, and I do go, I do check Rose's phone. Um, they don't, they don't, they don't really go on at her. I think mm, a lot good. of the kids have come quite savvy because you can screenshot and screen record. Mm. And it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's evidence. evidence. Yeah. And then they just get absolutely, I mean, these kids get in really big trouble. <clears throat> but the teacher, really interestingly, 
was we were talking about phones and stuff and she went it's ruining children's lives she actually said it's such a massive problem that what, it's mobile phones or yeah, oh just social God. media she went it's ruining like it's horrific I think she used the word horrific yeah so <clears throat> you know it's just it's just oh god that it just breaks your heart it, it hurts your heart you know when you like when Rosie rang me yesterday I was I, I just it bre- like little pieces of your heart just break and I was just like that fuck this oh god it's the worst because you don't want you don't want your child to suffer and essentially you are having to watch your child yeah. suffering there's not a lot you can, you can do, do about it. that apart from what you're doing which is going into school yeah and we were saying earlier it's fair enough like you know if if Rosie was a bully w- was bullying someone and a parent came to me and went your child's I would her feet would not touch the mm. ground oh my god same she would be in so much trouble I would be mortified and like so we're, the basically the school said reach out to it's a, it's a complicated situation because it's a complicated situation but anyway they've told us to maybe reach out to one parent but the worst child that's bullying her my guess is the parent isn't the parent that would be mortified because yeah. that's why their child's do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't know what you're going to get. You no. don't know how they're going to react. They might be really defensive. They yes. might be like, no, my child wouldn't do that. Think- or they might be really sort of like, I'm so sorry, leave this with me. I'm going to do something yeah. about it. You don't know how it's yeah. going to go. My guess is one of them, I'm not going to get anywhere. I, I don't mm. want to. I'm not going to get in contact with that parent. <clears throat> the other ones I'm kind of concerned. It's, it's, it's like a... It's weird. There's layers to this bullying. It's awful. Mm. But Rose is at the bottom. Mm. <laughs> Rose and is also, like at the bottom. You've just got to stick up for Rosie. You Absolutely. can't think about everyone else mm. and the bullies and why they're doing it. You've just got to stick up for your child. Yeah. So we'll see how the day goes. Oh, mate, I hope your day improves for you today. The, yes. the Christmas cake, did that make it so better? you know what? Better? It did. And we're going to go and have a nice coffee or something aren't we well, we're actually going to go and do do invoices but we're we'll going to go, go yeah. somewhere nice aren't we and do it yeah <laughs> um so we will be back tomorrow what day is it tomorrow thursday thursday Bloody hell, where's this week going it's flying by also really quickly if you want to come to our christmas party it's on the 3rd of december have a look on our instagram at laura summers lifestyle at pkh uk if you use pod 20 pod 20 you get 20 percent off tickets so come along and we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>